You produced this film, uh, Jennifer wrote and directed it. Um, is this kind of more personal than anything you've ever done before? Um, I, I, yes and no. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not some sort of deep personal thing that we're bringing to light, uh, but, but we did have obviously an incredible hand in creating it. And uh, that part was really cool. Uh, as actors, you don't often get an opportunity to, to really uh, have a hand in, in creating anything, unless you want to work your ass off. And uh, to be fair, that's what we did, especially Jen, having s to wear so many hats, producer, writer, director, actor, mm. um, you know, sitting in the editing room, going over posters and, 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 you know, all of this stuff, actually, that's part of producing. So it was, uh, f f from that respect, yes, it was a, a personal thing in that it, it took up a lot of our day. Mm. Uh, but I was incredibly proud of Jen's work on this, and she did a wonderful job. And, and her tireless energy, uh, s source of you know commitment to this project was was inspiring. Mm. And when you read the script, was was Ben who you were drawn to, or did Jennifer say to you, "This is who you, I want you to play"? <laughs> Uh, she never said that, which was uh, probably good. And like, honey, I want you to play the horrible, dark <laughs> asshole. Um, was there... No, I wasn't necessarily drawn to it. Um, in fact, during several iterations and readings and versions, I played Kurt. Um, and, uh, and other people played uh, Ben. But uh, when we finally got to you know, actual production, it was it was like, well, I don't think we really want to play opposite one another. We are a couple, there is baggage there in, in the real world, and I think it's weird for an audience to say like, oh, those people are together in real life, and I don't think people want to see that, honestly. Uh, so it was, uh, it was determined that I should play Ben. Mm. And it was great to play opposite Kristen, who I love, who's amazing. Mm. Oh, do you always have to like the characters you play as well? No, in fact, uh, you know, the best way to, to think about characters is if, from an acting standpoint is you, you don't ever want to judge them. You're just playing them. Mm. It's up to the audience and it's up to other people to judge them. Um, you're just, your, your responsibility is to just bring the, is to tell the truth um, and, and, and try to present them as, as real as possible. Uh, and, and, you know, listen, I'm sure your life has several douchebags in it. You know what I mean? I'm sure we all we all know people that are that are maybe not the best people. Life is not filled with walking around meeting one amazing person after another. Some people are dicks, and uh, it's it's not their fault. Sometimes, sometimes it is, uh, but but that's life. Uh, you've got, a, I think, a young doctor's notebook coming up as well with Daniel Radcliffe. Um, you, is it English accent in that you're doing? You uh, I'm I'm going to attempt. I really we'll, we'll see how it works. Have you uh, met Daniel yet to, to kind of... Yes, I, I've met Daniel quite a few times. He's a lovely guy and a really, really talented actor. And, uh, and we're really thrilled to do this. We had to read through it yesterday. Uh, it's going to be four episodes uh, on uh, Sky Arts, and uh, we're thrilled. It's a very, very strange uh, thing. It's an adaptation of a Mikhail Bulgakov uh, series of short stories about his experiences as a young doctor and... and pre-revolutionary Russia, and uh, it's a trip. We've got a really, really talented group uh, of people, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't embarrass everyone.